I'm going to say that Indonesia is one of my absolute favorite places on earth to get spices. Specifically, the spices that I love from Indonesia the most is uh, Indonesian lamb tongs, peppercorns. Very fruity, very spicy, very delicious on steak, on chicken, on veal, on beef. And of course, I love the Indonesian long pepper. You know, before we knew pepper, Piper Nigra from India, we, we, we were using long pepper, Indonesian long pepper. Indonesian long pepper, it grows in India too, but the best quality is Indonesian. And it comes from Java and it comes from Flores, and they grow these beautiful long Indonesian long pepper. And it has a very, it's very good for your throat. There's a certain uh, natural chemical inside that actually is great for cough, and for if your throat is a little bit sore, you, you would have this long pepper and just chew on it, and it would absolutely make you feel much better. So the ginger, some of the best ginger comes from Indonesia. The strains of ginger that they have are absolutely delicious and great not only in soda, but in stir fries and with so many other dishes, savory and sweet, that you would use in cooking. So it's very important that the spices that I buy are very high in volatile oil content, and Indonesia has some of the best. Nutmeg, clove, uh, all of the things that I get from Indonesia are superior grade. Now, like every country, they grow better quality and lower quality, middle quality. But of all the countries, I can get the most volume from Indonesia. Now, Indonesian chilies are becoming huge. The little tiny ones and the larger ones, very spicy but very flavorful. Really delicious. So when you make a sambal, some, you cannot make a sambal without Indonesian chili. You know, and of course, you know, some of the greatest dishes of Indonesia, you know, beef rendang or, you know, nasi goreng, the rice dish, you know, the fried rice dish is so good. I'm going to enter the Indonesian cooking contest with my version of nasi goreng. Great. So I'm very excited about that. But I mean, I, so I think my, my big answer on this is that Indonesia has the best spices. You just have to know where to go to get them. Mostly what we do at my company, Mr. Recipe Spices, is we repackage the product for distribution to food service. So top chefs want me to blend the spice for them from wherever country, wherever continent it's from. So we take a bunch of spices, sometimes 10, 15, 20, 30, as many as 50 spices. So like we're doing an Indian curry, we can put as many as 50 spices in one spice blend. There are spices from Indonesia that have almost that many spices as well. So everybody likes their own type of curry, everybody likes their own type of spice blend, no matter where you're from. And so I think it's important to understand that what we do is we redistribute to people who use it to prepare great cuisine in a restaurant. If I was going to sell to people in the supermarket, and I do sell to some, they repack it and put it under their own label. I don't know sometimes even who it is. We just sell a thousand pounds of peppercorns, or a thousand pounds of, of uh, chili peppers, or a thousand pounds of garlic powder, or granulated garlic, or granulated onion, and then they re re remake it themselves. They do, we do a lot of that too. But the majority of what we do is we repack spices for chefs who really require high quality spices and blends. Well, I've always, since I'm known as the spice guru, and I didn't give myself that name, that was given to me by the media, people that have been writing about my products for years. And I said, oh, if they're going to call me the spice guru, I might as well say that, so I put it on my card now. But the thing is, I always wanted to do a show about spices from the countries of origin where my spices come from. Madagascar, Vietnam, Laos, Cambodia, um, you know, Malaysia, Thailand, all these places, India. I want to go to Indonesia because I want to show people how great the spices are and what my spices do to the food. There's no better way to do that than vid in video, to take that video and then recast it on my own website and actually sell it to other media outlets. So we're going to actually be going and to sell it to like airlines who have first class and business class accommodations and they, people are going to be traveling to Indonesia. They can actually watch a video of me talking about Indonesian food and how they use Indonesian spices in Indonesia. Because what grows together obviously goes together, so we're going to actually show a home cook making great Indonesian cuisine in someone's home is the best meals I've ever eaten in somebody's house, somebody's grandmother, somebody's mother, somebody's father, uncle, whatever. 
now we're going to take that after we go to that house we're going to go to a private a, a restaurant chef and we're going to see how a restaurant chef takes the same spices and makes a similar dish in a restaurant what makes it different why is it different see the contrast because seeing is believing that's right so if i see it i believe it if, I, if i'm just telling you this then what does it mean so i want to show people in action in indonesia remarkable indonesia take a look at us now